so I just checked into Dubbertree Hilton on the beautiful island of Zanzibar. So is this hotel any good and worth the money? So I'm going to review this hotel in seven categories. Room, location, food and drink, facilities, cleanliness, service and value. So stick around to the end of the video to see the final score. Right, let's start off with number one, room. So, this is a sea view room which costs 330 US dollars per night, so it's not cheap. There's a double bed here for two people. If you're a child under the age of 10, you can stay here for free, so they put an extra bed here for free. There's a dresser table here, which is nice and big, you can put a laptop on it as well, and there's a mirror. There's a TV here, uh, all surrounded by Zanzibar-style timber, um, but the TV had a pretty bad reception. It wasn't that great. Yeah. Um, the bed sheets were nice and the pillows were fine. It's nice and soft, but uh, my girlfriend did have a problem. She found a big stain on the mattress, um, some photo evidence here if, um, if I get that. The power is great. There's two USBs here and a power and another power, which is fantastic. And this is a big space for two suitcases here, which is really good. I like that. Some art. Mosquito nets here, which uh, I never even use, but they look nice anyway. And then on to the tea and coffee facilities here, which are good. Uh, fridge here, which is fine. But there isn't much of a mini bar. Uh, safe here. Two dressing gowns they gave you. They do laundry here, iron, ironing board, plenty of space in there. Um, sink is massive sink, one big one. They don't have two single sinks. This is a washing area, you can wash your clothes. And then the shower is quite big as well. So it's pretty big bathroom, really. Yeah. However, there were some small issues with the wood in the room, which was weirdly sticky. Look at that, it's stuck. They must have just varnished it or something. Even my head stuck to the bed head. I keep getting my head stuck on the wood. Hair keeps coming out. Look what happened. And then onto the balcony, it's not a sliding door, it's opening door, it slams a bit, but it's fine. So if you get a sea view room, this is the amazing view you get. Look at the ocean on that. Zamzibar is just incredible. So score for room. There are only minor issues with the TV, mattress stain and sticky wood. The rest of the room was good. So the room gets a score of four out of five. You can have a The hotel is located in Nungwi, which is north of Zanzibar Island, about one and a half hours drive from the airport. In recent years, Nungwi has become the top tourist destination in Zanzibar, with hotel rooms increasing 129% between 2008 and 2013. There are many activities including diving, boat trips, village tours, or simply exploring the area yourself. So location is top notch, it's on the north of Nungwi, which is a bit more peaceful to southern Nungwi, which is uh, very touristy and a bit noisy sometimes. I love watching the locals fishing in the morning, hanging out with the Maasai tribe and getting lost in Nungwi village. Because the hotel is facing north, I couldn't get to see sunrise or sunset very well. You have to go for a bit of a walk to get a good view of that. So score for location is another four out of five. So is there any cockroaches today? Nothing. Both breakfast and dinner was included in the price. Breakfast was good, which included some vegan options, which was nice to see. Highlights for me included the cheeses and the impeccable poached eggs. One thing that's good about this place is the cups of coffee. They have large cups, unlike the small cups they give you in most hotels. Looks like they're getting the fresh coconut from the trees every morning as well, which is good. <laughs> However, I was disappointed with the mushrooms, which look like they come from a tin. I'm a bit disappointed with the croissants. They taste like bread, really. I've had better croissants elsewhere. A bit disappointed with that. And the um, pancakes, maple syrup. It's not really maple syrup. It's 
it's some other syrup, a uh, fake syrup. And so I was looking forward to have pancake with maple syrup. Unfortunately, they didn't have any. Apart from that, everything's great. However, Navessa had problems. I haven't found any cockroaches, but um, she did take photographic evidence. I am lucky tonight because you know what? It's African night. Dinner in the evening, they had different theme nights for every night. However, I didn't see any seafood night, which I would have thought would be the most popular. The food in the evening was excellent. It was varied. Drinks were great too, but pay extra if you want coffee like cappuccino or espresso. The evening drinks are a bit expensive, but there is a happy hour. So cocktails by the pool, as you've got to do when you're here. This is um, pina colada coconut, which is very good. And it's got environmentally friendly straw, which is really good. You don't often see that in Tanzania. It's just the cockroach for breakfast in the bread that was the main issue. So because of the cockroach, I'd give food and drink three out of five. So facilities around the hotel are really impressive. The pool is really good with the bar. The pool's 1.44 meters high throughout, so there's no deep end. You've got a wellness fitness center here. It's full service, so you can have body treatments, massages, facials, all that kind of stuff. The gym is open 24 hours. One treadmill, one cross trainer, one bike, one little bench and some free weights. That's it. Uh, fitness center is a bit small, but it's, it's okay. So that's the sunset bar up there that has the pool and the foosball and things like that. Yes. Table tennis. So they've got some really nice little facilities here. And I'm quite impressed actually. Even though they don't have large ones like basketball, they do have volleyball. So it has a private beach at Hilton. Um, which is up different to the actual public beach down there. Um, so you see, um, that's the public beach, then there's the private beach, they just put sand on their land there. So the private beach is quite quiet in the morning, but it gets a bit lively in the afternoon. I think because people start drinking and everything. So they have hammocks and benches, you can relax and hang out in this private area. No one bothers you, so it's quite peaceful. There's also a decent gift shop at a reception area. So the shop is really good actually. Items are quite fashionable, a bit expensive, but they're good quality. And the highlight for me was the bowls. So the hotel also caters for special events like this and weddings as well. So the only complaints for facilities are this is the gym's too small and they don't have any PCs to use internet but they said they'll provide one if you want one so that's no I don't think that's a big deal at all. So final score for facilities four out of five. Cleanliness around the hotel was excellent, spot on. The restaurants clean, the bars clean, the pools cleaned every day. See people cleaning in the mornings. So even the private beach is really clean. I don't know how they clean the sand so much. It's really good. And, and taps to clean your feet when they actually work. So the cleanliness around was really good. However, Novessa had some issues with the room. She got woken in the middle of the night by an uninvited guest in her bed. <laughs> Oh my god, there's a cockroach on my bed. I had big issues with booking the room prior to arrival. Firstly, I was contacted by Doubletree, Dar es Salaam, to go into their hotel and pay by cash to guarantee my booking. So I just told them to charge my card. Just got off the phone with bookings.com and my bank and the hotel have charged my bank five times and the transaction has gone through my bank said. After calling Hilton in Zanzibar they assured me everything will be sorted when I get there. So at the airport now and now I just got a message saying my booking's cancelled. Fortunately when we got to the actual hotel the service was excellent. Looks like they're sorting it out straight away the room problem anyway. 
so that's a relief. And they sorted everything out. All the service in the hotel was great, from the hotel manager to the housekeeping to the security. All were fantastic. So score for service, I would easily have given this a 5 out of 5, but because of the ordeal I went through prior to booking, I'm giving this a harsh 3 out of 5. Okay, so value, um, okay, it's a bit expensive, $330 per night, it's very expensive, so um, even though everything here is fantastic, the food, the beach, everything, um, I don't know if you can justify that, that's like three times the price as a normal hotel, so I don't know, but like, you pay for what you get, everything here is really good. But um, I don't know, 330 is a lot of money, so I'll give that 4 out of 5. So that gives Doubletree Hill to Nungwe a grand total of 71%. I'd recommend this hotel if you have the money. So I hope you enjoy this video at Nungwe Hilton Doubletree. I'll see you in the next video. Just checking out. <laughs>